All right, guys, I just want to make this quick video here because a brand new update just came out for the dead end products. It's the engine version 4.0. Now, uh, if you know us, we, uh, you know we use this device every single week to do broadcasts. This is the dead end DJ Prime 4 Plus. I love this device. I've had no major issues with this. I have had issues before with dead end, but that's besides the point. We are talking about this update here, the engine DJ 4.0. This is basically the software that runs this entire operation here. Um, everything's run off the USB. And uh, I can tell you right now that this is the craziest update they've done. And Denon is known for updating their stuff and having a powerful uh, system in their products. And this is this is just crazy. They've completely redesigned this. It's a darker layout. The search bars have been redesigned. There's been new features added. There's been improvements. The one thing that I can tell you here, if you take a look, the performance library has been added. This is uh, it's it's something that can take some getting used to if you want to use it. But essentially, it allows you to to have your waveforms on 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 one side, and then you can have your library in the other, so you don't have to. Uh, switch back and forth between your library and you know seeing what's going on on the screen and everything so this is pretty cool this is one thing that stands out uh aside from that uh it's just there's just so much like they introduced a 24-hour clock so if you use uh the military system obviously this has a, a time and date that syncs as well right uh oh my gosh there's just so many updates uh if you know there's a lot, a lot of issues when uh, people were bringing up when when they were recording a set for example and the volume was too low and the reason why they did that is so the uh the recording would have some headroom on the top so uh, it wouldn't uh, be too loud or anything like that now they've normalized that so you don't have to go on audacity or anything to uh to to fix that um if you if you choose to um it's just like there's so much i encourage you all to hit up enginedj.com slash downloads uh i'm just looking through everything the album art is now displayed next to the track name uh the new layout manager uh you know performance pad uh improvements uh just there's just so much reset play tracks cannot be reset uh you know and in case you didn't know this was on the last update this actually has bluetooth now so uh it's one of those updates that you should definitely check it out oh yeah also one thing you can actually change the playhead position here so if you want more room to look at what's coming up you can actually change that i don't know exactly how to do that because i just you know that's not my thing but you can actually change the playhead position for when the track starts. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I just want to find that quickly here. Just, there's so many options here. Text size, control center, uh, lighting. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure where to change that. But I know you can change where the playhead starts. Display, reset, play tracks, time information, not safety. It's somewhere there. You can change where the play track, uh, this this head starts. You can put it right in the middle. But anyways, I just want to give you guys an update on the engine 4.0. If you have Denon, no issues. Uh, we've It's been tested uh, for weeks, months actually. Uh, and yeah, we, we've, we've actually been testing it out and, and I've been excited to share it with you guys. So I'm sure there's gonna be more updates coming out on this, but in the meantime, get downloading and get DJing the Denon prime engine update 4.0. One of the best updates yet.